Today I am going to show you how to make this simple cheese board. This board was once part of a drawer in a old mahogany wardrobe and is ideal for the project. As it has varnish, I start by using a 60 grit sandpaper in the orbital sander. The varnish comes off easily. Do not apply pressure to the sander, let her do the job. Sand the entire board to eliminate marks and scratches. One hundred and twenty grit sandpaper for a smoother finish. I didn't remove the varnish from the side because the router will do this job for me. I managed to remove almost all the defects, except this. But there's no problem, as I already had the idea to drill a hole for hanging, this dent will disappear. I marked the center and drilled with a 20mm Frostner bit. Perfect. To chamfer the board, I use this round cutter. In all jobs it is important to use personal protective equipment, but when using the router, protective glasses and mask cannot be forgotten. This machine is fantastic, but it makes a lot of dust. Chamfer the hole to avoid sharp edges. Light sanding to ensure that the chamfered areas become smooth. Wipe the entire piece with a damp cloth. It seems counterproductive, but doing so will lift the fibers of the wood that was not removed by the sandpaper. Let it dry and manually sand the entire piece. I usually use this mineral oil for all appliances that I make that come into contact with food. It does not stain the wood, it is odorless and has no flavor. But the most important thing is that this oil is approved for use on surfaces where food is prepared. Apply a layer, 
let it soak for 15 minutes, remove the excess and the cheese board is finished. I hope you enjoyed this simple reuse of a mahogany board that started as a drawer and is now a beautiful and modern cheese board. 